Hello guys and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about resource report in Microsoft Project 2013. Let me move on to the next slide. As the name suggests itself, it helps us to analyze how the resources have been used in our project. So if I like to summarize this, it says it gives us the detailed overview regarding how the resource has been utilized throughout the project. Also, it gives us the tabular as well as the graphical representation of our resource usage. I'll move on to the next slide and in this next slide, I will see that where I can find re this report. We have to go under the report tab and under the report tab, I'll click on this resource icon. Under this resource icon, I can see there are various options. We'll try to explore this option in our practical approach. In this video, we are going to talk about the resource report in Microsoft Project 2013. So let's begin. Now, in order to go to the resource report, I have to click on report and under the report, I have to click on the resource column or the resource drop down. If I click on this resource drop down, I can see there are two, two three options. First one says over allocated resource, second is resource over resource overview and third one is more reports. Let's try with the very first one which says over allocated resource. Now the moment I click here my layout of the sc screen changes. Now out here I have two graphs, the one first one showing the work status, the second one is showing over allocation. Now as of now I have not over allocated any of the resource that is the reason it is showing a blank uh, chart but if you guys in your report in your uh, project if you have allocated a resource as in uh, if it is working over time it will show me in this report itself uh, moving on with the next one if I click on this report tab and if I go to this resource drop down now let's try to understand the resource overview if I click on this resource overview now out here I can see the overall report of my resource now if you see there are two charts out here the first one is showing the resource stats and the second one is showing the work status right out here it is clearly mentioned the the blue bar is mentioning the actual work the orange bar is representing the remaining work and this is my baseline of the work on the right hand side uh, it is showing me the different resources these are my different resources which are uh, allocated for this project I have SMEs business analyst test analyst and the blue bar is mentioning how much is the percentage of work done by that particular resource if you see on my right hand side it is showing me a screen a field list which is familiar to the pivot table field list in microsoft excel if you guys are aware of this uh, it is a field list which shows all the number of things which are required if i want to make any kind of changes let's say it is max units if i want the object the overtime rate as of now there is no overtime rate so it won't show anything so if according to your own requirement i can change make the changes accordingly i also have the filter group out here which we have already discussed uh, in our previous videos also the group by menu out here which we also we have discussed in uh, in in my previous videos so in this view i can have the overview of my particular reports now out here i can only see charts right if i scroll down right below it i can see there is a table as well in which my resource is being uh, tabulated in a tabular format right so if i click here and if i go on the top of my screen there is a table tool which is available if i go under this design tab i can change the layout of my table right if i click blue green it shows me report in different colors i want to change the layout i'll click here i'll change the layout the way i want it right so basically in this tool i can have the overall view or overall understanding about my resource how it has been working how much percentage of work they have completed and what are the tabular form if i want the report in the tabular form i have it right below it it is about the resource report in this video